Hello, and welcome to Wired, Episode 9. In this episode, we will be discussing security vetting, otherwise known as DBS, or the Disclosure and Barring Service Checks. The information in this podcast has been gathered from JPro Services' own bank of knowledge and the UK government's DBS website page. You can find out more at www.gov.uk forward slash disclosure hyphen barring hyphen service hyphen check. All of JPro Services' engineers are DBS checked and the office staff are all security vetted in accordance with BS 7858 due to working both in the security sector with numerous groups of vulnerable people such as disabled and children. The Disclosure and Barring Service, or DBS, helps employers make safer recruitment decisions and prevents unsuitable people from working with vulnerable groups, including children. It has replaced the Criminal Records Bureau, or CRB as it was known, and Independent Safeguarding Authority, or ISA. DBS is an executive non-departmental public body, sponsored by the Home Office. As a business, you may need to check someone's criminal record if they apply. For certain jobs or voluntary work, for example working with kids, or in healthcare or security. Or to foster or adopt a child. As a business, it is your job to know if your staff require a DBS check, and this must be put in motion before your staff begin working for you. How to get a DBS check. The employer gets an application form from DBS or an umbrella body, a registered body that gives access to DBS checks. The employer then gives the applicant the form to fill in and return to them along with documents proving their identity. The employer sends the completed application form to DBS or their umbrella body. DBS finally send a certificate to the applicant. The employer has to ask the applicant to see the certificate. If you as an applicant subscribe to the DBS update service, your employer can check your certificate online at any time by checking some simple details including your DBS certificate number and your date of birth. How long is a DBS check valid for? A DBS check has no official expiry date. Any information included will be accurate at the time the check was carried out. It is up to an employer to decide if and when a new check is needed. DBS check applicants must be 16 or over. The time it takes to process a DBS check depends on the following things. The level of the check, if the details given for the check are correct, and which police forces need to be involved in the check. Generally, it can take around eight weeks to get a DBS certificate. There are two main types of checking service. Standard, This checks for spent and unspent convictions, cautions, reprimands and final warnings. And an enhanced. This includes the same as the standard check, plus any additional information held by local police that is reasonably considered relevant to the role being applied for. Warning. An employer can only ask for a barred list check for specific roles. It's actually a criminal offence to ask for a check for any other roles. Checks for eligible volunteers are free of charge, for example, people engaging in unpaid charity work. The person going through a DBS check or the applicant must give their employer original documents, not copies, to prove their identity. The documents required are grouped into three sections. Group 1, primary identity documents, for example, passports or driving licences. Group 2A, trusted government documents, for example, marriage or birth certificates and Group 2B, financial and social history documents, for example, mortgage statements or bank statements. As most of you will use fewer than 100 checks a year, use an umbrella body because you can't register directly with DBS. The person being given a DBS check or the applicant can check on the progress of their application using the DBS tracking service online. Are you able to reuse a DBS certificate? Employers can accept a previously issued certificate but must Check the applicant's identity matches the details on the certificate. Check the certificate is of the right level and type for the role applied for and check to see if anything has changed since the certificate was issued. For more information on security vetting, please visit www.jproservices.co.uk and get in touch with us today. Make sure you and your staff are safe in our hands. 